What's good, gentlemen? You ready to rank some metal furries? Fucking, these games scare the shit out of me, Barack. I have to take, like, ten fucking lopramides so I don't shit myself whenever I play these dog shit games. Sleepy Joe, century-old colon aside. Let's rank these characters quick cause. At this point, there's more Freddy's characters. Then there are years of Joe's lifespan. Yeah, let's get this shit over with. Joe got me waiting to go play golf with her thick ass. All right, then. Looks like we're going in game order. Uh, let's start with the big dickhead, Honcho himself, Freddy Fazbear. Scott deadass forgot he was the main antagonist, C-tier at best. C-tier? You can't put the main antagonist in C-tier Donald. Show some respect for the classics. The only reason he's relevant is because he's on the fucking title Barack. He's useless otherwise. Actually, I think that Freddy was pretty spooky in the first game. I like how he always hid in the shadows. He was darker than Barack at some points, I swear. Jesus, not even a minute into the video and we got a fucking black joke already. I'd say S tier for Freddy out of respect. What about you, Biden? I'd probably go I tier. We should save the top tier for some better characters, fam. All right, A tier for Freddy then. Next up is Bonnie. Bonnie is lit. He's definitely cooler than Freddy for sure. He's cooler than Freddy, but good Lord, he always goes to the door. Genuinely an annoying ass rabbit. I'd argue uh, A tier again for Bonnie Barack. Well, I'd say S tier if we think he's cooler than Freddy. Even if he's an annoying bunny bitch from time to time. All right, S tier for Bonnie. Chica is next. Chica is fucking useless. Can we all agree? Lame ass character D tier for sure. Only there to be a woman. I'd say C tier out of respect, but yeah, Chica is lame. I guess she still is a classic. Um, hey, fine. We'll put her in C. Next up is Foxy. Easy S, in my opinion. S for sure. Foxy is cool as fuck. Y'all serious? Foxy is the most overrated character. I get that he's cool, but holy shit, let's be more original and put him in A at best. Sleepy Joe out here with another shit take. Don't listen to his wrinkly ass Barack. Wasn't planning on it. Foxy is an easy S. Get literally shit on Biden. Next up is Goldilocks. F tier, F tier easily. Scott, what the fuck even is this character at this point? F tier, stop capping Don. Goldie is at least an A. Golden Freddy is pretty fucking confusing, but overall I think he's neat. Put his ass in A Barack. Matt Pat literally ruined this character. He's F-tier in my heart, just letting y'all know. Shut the fuck up, Don, you orange shit stain. Chill your asses out. It's time for the second game. Yep, first up on the list is fat-ass Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy doesn't do much in his premiere game, but he has a lot of personality in his other appearances like UCN. Don't forget special delivery. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Don't mention that rancid game's name. Anyways, Toy Freddy is neat but doesn't do much. I'd say B-tier. All right, B-tier for the fat-ass then. What about Toy Bonnie? Dude, dead-ass looks like a twink, goddamn. Toy Bonnie may look like a goofy-ass twink, but he's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Put the twink in B-tier and move on for the love of God. I never want to use the word twink again, Jesus. All right, how about Toy Chicken? Holy shit, God damn! A work of art, holy fuck. Gotta S-tier this bird right now, holy shit. You horny old men, shut your goofy asses up. Toy Chica is only popular cause of simps like you. Jesus, Barack, it was a joke. Shut your hospital blowing ass up. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a joke, come on. For the love of fuck? Sleepy Joe, don't tell me you're actually horny for the plastic bird. Aside from the obvious, there isn't much going on with Toy Chica. She has a good voice, I'll give her that. But otherwise, I think she should go in B-tier with the rest of the toys. I'd put her in C-tier in spite of the simps. That's actually a good fucking idea for once, Donald. I'm impressed. C-tier for the bird. I'd totally smash, though. Obama, go on to the next character before Sleepy Joe's geriatric ass keeps simping. All right, then. What do we think about Mangle, gentlemen? Isn't Mangle one of them non-binaries? Donald, don't even fucking think about opening that can of worms. Anyways, Mangle is cool as fuck. Not as cool as Foxy, but still a really neat design. Wasn't Mangle the one that did the bite of 87? Joe, don't open that can of worms either. I'm thinking S-tier for Mangle. Nah, fuck that, B-tier. Pick a gender, you stupid trash pile. Oh, God, fine. We'll split the difference and put Mangle in A. All right, what about Balloon Boy? F-tier. F-tier. Couldn't have said it better myself, gentlemen. But what about JJ? Why the fuck did you scream JJ like that? I don't know. I don't know what came over me. Anyways, I don't give a flying fuck about JJ. Same here. Honestly, a waste of a slot on the UCN roster. That could have been Funtime Freddy. Base take Donald. I'd say only D tier for JJ, though, since her presence doesn't raise my blood levels, unlike BB. D tier for JJ, then. Now onto the puppet. I think this might be the easiest S tier of the list so far. Such a good backstory. Such a good design. There's nothing wrong with this character. Actually, Sleepy Joe, there's one problem with Charlie over here. That music box mechanic is so fucking annoying. I won't deny that the box is quite irritating, but that doesn't have anything to do with the puppet itself, Donald. It's got to be an S tier for me. It's S tier for me, too. Nobody asked you, Sleepy Joe, but fine. For the sake of moving on, put her in S. All right, gentlemen. Now we're on to the Withereds. What do we think of Withered Freddy? I won't lie. Withered Freddy's office render is pretty tight. 
almost as tight as Melania. That's Cap Donald. Her box is as loose as it gets. But Withered Freddy still is dope. There's a reason why he's on all the merch boxes. Put the Baron A tier, then I don't really give a fuck. All right, then. What about Withered Bonnie? The no-face gimmick is really cool, I gotta admit. I agree. Definitely the most iconic of the Withered animatronics. For that alone, I'd say he should go in S tier. I'd personally say A tier for Withered Bonster, but I'm okay with S tier. Bonster? What the fuck? Anyways, S tier for Withered Bonnie. Next is Withered Chica. Damn, she's creepy. Pretty fucking scary if you ask me. Yes, I think we can all agree that Withered Chica is one of the most terrifying animatronics in the franchise. I'd say A tier for both her design and pretty decent voice as well. I guess A tier is fine, but we seriously need to be giving more low rankings. The top racks are getting pretty stacked already. Don't worry, we'll get to more mid shit eventually. Anyways, next is Withered Foxy. A good design for sure, but definitely not as solid of a design as classic Foxy. Probably B tier. Not to mention how fucking annoying he is in FNAF 2. Seriously, he makes the game so much harder. That's true, Donnie, but without Foxy, the game would be easy as shit. I'd say B tier as well for the crippled pirate. I would go C tier, but since when do you listen to my opinions? Never, Don. The answer is never. All right, what about Withered Golden Freddy? F tier. Throw the Golden Graham in the slammer. Jesus, man, stop mauling over Golden Freddy. Anyways, Withered Golden Freddy isn't as interesting as the one from the first game, but he's still pretty neat nonetheless. Shut your ass up, Sleepy Joe. This character is just mysterious for no reason. This one should get an F minus tier for that. Donald, the amount of coping that you're doing is off the charts right now. Anyways, I agree with the fact that Withered Goldie is inferior to Classic Goldie, and therefore I'm thinking C tier. I go with B tier, but C's fine with me. All right, what do we think about RDQS Fayes ACC? Fucking hell, Barack just call him Shadow Bonnie. Anyways, he's definitely a more interesting Easter egg than some others. Not to mention he got a big glow up in UCN and the other game that shall not be named. Despite being Toy Bonnie but black, he still is interesting. I'd go B tier for Shadow Bon, although I prefer Shadow Freddy. All right, there's another B tier. Also watch your mouth, Joe, holy shit. Anyways, speaking of which, next is Shadow Freddy. Better than Shadow Bonnie solely because purple is cooler than black. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Trump? Shadow Freddy is sick, but unfortunately he hasn't gotten into a game ever since FNAF 3. Dude got seriously shafted. And due to that, I think he should go to B tier with his Shadow Brethren. Any objections? Whatever, it's fine. Come on, let's get this over with so we can talk about security breach already. That's like seven more games away, man. Literally never ask Sleepy Joe, shut your geriatric ass up. All right, the last character for FNAF2, the Paper Pals. The who? The Paper Pals Sleepy Joe. The paper dolls that hang on the walls of the restaurant and occasionally move as an Easter egg. It's debatable as to whether they're actual characters or not, but whatever, I don't give a shit about them, but they don't make me angry either. I just say D tier. Literally don't give a shit, just move on to FNAF3 Barack. All right then, let's finish up the third game. Of course, we're starting with Springtrap, easiest S of my life. Yeah, it's been said to death already, but Springtrap's design is absolute peak five nights at Freddy's character design. Not to mention, he perfectly fits Fazbear's Fright's theme, too. It's basically a moral obligation to put Springtrap in S tier, but nobody's going to disagree with us. Put Willie in S Barack. Finally, a good take that we all agree on. Now let's get the Phantoms out of the way, because nobody gives a shit about them. First up is Phantom BB. Don't give a shit, it's Balloon Boy, but he jump scares you now. F tier. That was quick. All right, but what about Phantom Freddy? He's definitely a more interesting phantom, especially when he walks by your window in the third game. Otherwise, though, he's not that special. All right, I'll just throw him in C tier, then I don't give a fuck. Phantom Mangle is next. Dude literally just spews static at you. Doesn't even have a jump scare. Um, actually, he has one in Help Wanted. Sleepy Joe, don't fucking, um, actually me. Just throw the trash heap in D tier or C tier, Barack. Let's keep going. All right, just three more characters left, gentlemen. Then we can end the first part. Next is Phantom Foxy. I'll admit, I do like that he lost his hook. That's pretty cash money, as the kids say. Joe, don't talk for the rest of this fucking video. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, Phantom Foxy has an annoying mechanic. And the only difference between him and Withered Foxy is the texture changes, just like the rest of the Phantoms. I swear the Phantoms would have benefited much more if Scott just decided to give them unique designs, the lazy fuck. Put Foxy in C tier... And while you're at it, put the watermelon in D tier. Yeah, Phantom Chica doesn't really stand out either, aside from the watermelon jokes. Thank fuck for Funoff World's existence. Anyways, last is the Phantom Puppet. The Phantom Puppet has a unique and interesting mechanic 
That's basically the only thing saving it from D-tier as well. Yeah, but otherwise the dude got fucking shafted. Literally hasn't appeared in any mainline game since his debut. What a chode licker. I'd say put him in C-tier to wrap this up nicely, Barack. I need to get back to Melania already, for fuck's sake. All right, then. We're done with the third game. We will pick this up next time, gentlemen. Fucking finally. Jesus Christ, this is going to be torture. Can I speak now? Shut Shut the the fuck fuck up, up, Joe. Joe. All righty, gentlemen. Who's up for round two? Honestly, I'd much rather just get this furry shit over with right now, so I think that's a poggy gamer idea. All right. You good with this too, Joe? Joe? Oh, fuck me. He fell the fuck asleep. How original? Holy Holy shit, shit, a a 13-year-old girl. Huh? What? Where? Let me smell them. We're ranking the animatronic furries again, Sleepy Joe. Get your Adderall in your blood and help us. Fucking fine. Also, don't question what I just said. Well, we're obviously starting with the fourth game, so we got Nightmare Freddy up first. I respect Nightmare Freddy solely because he's a better father than Donald ever will be. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Last time I checked, Hunter is still fucking dying half of the time. God, we get it. You guys are shit fathers. Anyway, Nightmare Fred's design goes pretty hard, and his voice goes hard as well. Even though he isn't seen much in the fourth game, I think his mechanic and design alone gives him A tier. Freddles are pretty annoying, though. I hate their stupid little screeches. Dude, deadass sounds like Darth Vader. All right, all right, fair enough. We'll throw him in B tier then. Next is Nightmare Bonnie. Why doesn't he have a voice yet? That's actually a good point, Joe. Why the fuck doesn't he have a voice? He'd definitely benefit from a voice, but that doesn't change the fact that he's one of the more lamer nightmares. He's still neat and all, but I don't think he should get any higher than B tier. There's just nothing really interesting about him, unlike the other nightmares. Mid Bonnie. All right, Mid Bonnie. What about Nightmare Chica? Ooh, Nightmare Cupcake is such a neat idea. Don't ever fucking ooh again, Sleepy Joe. Uh, Besides, the Nightmare Cupcake is fucking annoying. It's so easy to die to it in the fourth game. Sounds like a big skill issue. Yeah, Don sounds like a fat fucking skill issue. Anyways, Nightmare Chica is pretty neat and definitely one of the more scary nightmares. Especially with those three rows of teeth. God damn. Did you forget Obama? They scrapped the three rows. She only has two now. Same with Jacko Chica. Oh, fuck, really? Well, that just makes her more mid then. Mid Nightmare put the chicken in B with the rest of them. All right, and what about the goat, Nightmare Foxy? Rest in peace, Tongue. We will forever miss you. Yeah, I think Foxy is the coolest of the main four nightmares. But I tell you, he would be yes if he kept that sick-ass tongue. What the fuck, Scott? He still is epic, though, because he is a Foxy, so I think he should get the first A of this video. True, he is still a dope Foxy variant at the end of the day. I tear for Nightmare Foxy. Now we're on to Nightmare Fredbear. Easy S. My normal Golden Freddy bias would argue F, but this can slide because Nightmare Fredbear is pretty dope. Not to mention he was basically the first boss fight in the series. The fifth night is tight. All right, I think we're all in agreement on S tier, right? Yeah, put him in S. Eh, no B tier. Go for B tier. And why the fuck should we Donald? He still reminds me of Golden Freddy at the end of the day, so that brings him down. Oh my fucking lord, man. Stop this Golden Graham hate right now. You're seriously malding Trumpy. Don't call me Trumpy, you geriatric libtard. Oh my fucking god, Nightmare Fredbear clearly belongs in S, but for Trump's wrinkly sake, we'll only put him in A. Still seems rigged, but what the fuck ever. All right, gentlemen, now we're on to Nightmare himself. Hey, look, he's darker than... Not another fucking word out of you, Oompa Loompa looking ass. Nightmare is honestly kind of mid. Not only is he just a recolor of Nightmare Fredbear, but he's also not really explained too well. Yeah, the dark man kind of just comes out of nowhere and then leaves. Also, he reminds me of Golden Freddy still. Oh my God, stop speaking ill of the Golden Graham right now, Donnie. Anyways, I do agree that Nightmare is kind of mid, and honestly, I'd be fine putting him in B tier. Oh, is that because he's Black Obama? Joke, take, take your fucking meds, you're overdue. Anyways, next is Plush Trap. Honestly, he's a pretty nice shake-up to the original core knights of the fourth game. Um, he's also a nice little throwback to Spring Trap, and he's pretty iconic. Uh, and also, I hate mentioning the game's name, but he had a really cool mechanic and special delivery as well. Actually, I think that basically sums it all up. I'd say A tier for Plush Trap. Yeah, that was a really good description, Donnie. I'm kind of shocked for real. I tier for Plush Trap. Um, now we're getting into the Halloween characters, starting with Jack O'Bonnie. Can we all just selectively agree that both Jack O characters are mid and put them in D tier? We can put Jack O'Bonnie in D, but Jack O Chica should go in C, at least because of her voice and the pumpkin. All right, then the Jack O mids can go in D and C, respectively. Next up is Nightmare Mangle. Pretty dope-ass design, and honestly just as good, if not better, than Nightmare Foxy's. Do they have a confirmed gender? No, they don't. C-tier. Mid-C-tier. No gender. Oh, God, just put them in A-tier with Nightmare Foxy Barack. Don, you gotta cool it with that shit. 
Anyways, next is Nightmare Balloon Boy. Now, unlike the other Balloon Boys, I think Nightmare BB is kind of sick, not going to lie. Not to mention how good Matthew Curtis's voice is like, holy fuck, it's spot on. All right, fine, I'll admit Nightmare BB is probably the best of the balloon shit stains. We can put him in B tier, although we should probably try and get some other tiers filled since B tier is getting kind of bloated. Sounds good then. All right, the last character for Freddy's 4 is Nightmare on Pretty dope design and definitely better than Nightmare for sure. Can't forget his annoying ass mechanic in UCN though. Sleepy Joe out here actually spitting facts. Yeah, that mechanic was absolute AIDS. True, that mechanic did suck giant donkey dick. All right, then I'm cool with only putting him in B. But we shouldn't put him in the same tier as Nightmare, because he's better than Nightmare. Fine, then put him in A tier, and we'll call it a low A. All right, good compromise. I like that shit, my patriotic shitheads. Oh, my God, is it time for sister location now? Actually, we got a few from FNAF World to go first. Oh, God, why is that mid-game even on this tier list? What, shut the fuck up, pussy? Ain't no way this clown is talking shit about FNAF World. Fucking fine, just get it over with. All right, then first is the Virgin Chad. Mendo the Endo, gotta say, despite him not appearing in any game other than World, he's still pretty neat. I really don't give a fuck about these World characters. Just call me when we get to an actual good game. Shut up, Orange Man. You clearly don't know World. Anyways, Mendo is kind of cool. I'd just put him in C or B tier. Well, I think Mendo is neat, so I'll give him the B. All right, next up is DD. She's kind of like BB, but somehow worse. F tier. Actually, I am going to comment. Fuck this stupid-ass child. She's so fucking annoying in UCN. F tier for real. Once again, I could not have said it better myself. Glad we can all agree on a universal truth. Get in the bin, you stupid child. All right, now we're on to sister location. Yep, and of course we have Circus Baby up first. Definitely a pretty important character. Probably deserves at least an A. But we can't forget the fact that she did basically jack shit in SL, so I'd say no higher than A. Not only is her voice extremely iconic, but also she's a fan favorite. She's almost as recognizable as Freddy himself. All right, then. I think Baby belongs in A tier. Next up is Ballora. Do not say a single word, Joe. Fuck you, Barry. Honestly, Ballora is kind of mid, not going to lie. Aside from her voice and her gimmick of being blind, there's really nothing special about her. Yeah, and compared to the other animatronics of SL, she doesn't stand out nearly as well. I'd say C tier for mid lore. But she's so smashable. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Joe. Joe. Enough with your down badass. She's going in C. Moving on to Fun Time Freddy. S tier for certain. I don't want to hear it. This character has one of the best voices in all of fiction. Kellen Goff is truly a master at voice acting. Not to mention Freddy's design is super iconic and holds up great to today. And he has Bonbon, bon, can't forget that. I think we all agree that Funtime Freddy is the perfect specimen. Throw him an S or else I'll fucking die. Glad we all agree. Next up is Funtime Foxy. Not as good as Freddy, but still pretty iconic. He has a good voice and easily the scariest level in Help Wanted. I'd comment on his questionable gender, but the joke is already running its course. Just put them in A, I don't care. Glad you know when to stop Donald I tier for Foxy. Next is Yendo. Oh, who gives a shit about this character? They're just an Easter egg and a bad one at that. Literally just Funtime Freddy's Endo, but with yellow eyes. Shut up and drown yourself, Don. Yendo is epic because of his lameness. Besides, he could be a fun time Fred Bear Endo, which is cool. He is kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, so just throw him in C tier. All right then. And how about Lolbit? Lolbit got an upgrade to an actual canon character, so they're cool in my book. Still kind of lame that they're just a fun time Foxy reskin, although I know that Lolbit is really popular for some reason. Although I don't really see why. Yeah, they're kind of trash. Co-parter Lolbit fans put them in C tier Barry. All righty then. And what about Biddy Bab and Electro Bab? Those little shits haven't been a threat since their debut game. Not to mention Electrobab is just a shameless waste of a slot of the SL Custom Knight roster. Bro, ain't that the truth. I'll just throw both of them in D tier. And while we're at it, throw the mini arenas in F tier. Those little shits are the reason why Night 4 is such a pain in the fucking ass. Also the fact that they were another waste on the roster of Custom Knight. Min Arena 2, seriously Scott, where the fuck was Baby and Ennard? Agreed F tier mini bitches. Speaking of which, we got Ennard. We got an S tier, this man, come on. Yeah, Ennard's design is kind of peak, and his boss battle in the private room is tight, even if it is harder than my little Donnie from time to time. Can't forget about his level and help wanted that shit was lit to play. All right, no further objections for Ennard and S. All right, second to last is Bon Bon. Bon Bon isn't really anything special on his own, but he still has a pretty iconic voice. Yeah, he works best when he's with Freddy, but he still is pretty epic. I'd say B tier for Bon Bon. Wait, I thought Bon Bon was a girl. Why the fuck would you ever assume that Sleepy Joe? The character encyclopedia said so. The character encyclopedia also said that Bon Bon was in the third game Joe. It isn't really the best source of info, so shut up and get more Adderall. 
And last but not least, we have Bonnie. Why the fuck does this character exist and why do they keep coming back? Yeah, they're kind of just another shameless recolor that doesn't have any interesting features or story. Honestly, D or maybe even F tier. They're a little girl, so D tier. Okay, what the fuck, Joe? Just because you said that I'm putting them in F tier. Oh, what the fuck? This shit is rigged as fuck. That's, That's my, my line, you piece of dog, dog shit. Please, for the love of God, tell me we're finishing this today, Obama. Yeah, we're finishing this shit list here and now. You ready, gentlemen? I got my Adderall pumping in my systems. I'm ready to rank some furries. Holy shit. Sleepy Joe isn't being a prehistoric fossil right now. This is going to be an interesting one, I tell you. All right, let's cut the cliche bullshit and start off with the sixth game. First up for today is Molten Freddy. Why the fuck would the other animatronics willingly let Funtime Freddy take control of the body? That's like telling a clown to take charge of a construction site. Look, it doesn't matter because the goat Kellen Goff got to return to record more lines. Music to our ears for real. His design isn't as solid as Ennard's, but I think it's still good enough to earn him an A tier. Sounds good to me. Next is Afton, a.k.a. Scrap Trap. Oh, good God. What did Scott do to him? Jimmy Neutron looking ass. Fellas, fellas, I know Scrap Trap's design isn't nearly as good as Spring Trap's, but it isn't that bad. Isn't that bad? They took arguably the best designed animatronic in the series and turned him into a fucking peanut. I actually wholeheartedly agree with Sleepy Joe. Scrap Trap is the poster child for a shitty new design. F tier right now. Y'all are just malding, and I'm putting him in D tier. He isn't that bad, and he still is Afton at the end of the day. Cope, gentlemen, it's my list. That's just not fair, bitch. This is democracy. Why don't you just make an E tier and throw him in there? Fucking fine. I'll make an E tier god. You scrap trap haters are fucking deplorable. Them's the breaks, Barry. He should have gotten a better design. Whatever. Next up is Scrap Baby. Now, this is a design I can get behind. Baby using the claw from her stomach as a weapon is pretty sick straight up. True, and the design is overall pretty solid and even kind of cool looking. I think she's on par with Classic Baby, so put her in A tier as well. All right, then. And the last enemy for the game is Lefty. Very neat in how he was made to capture the puppet. However, I think I would have preferred if they had a more unique design. Yeah, it would have been neat if they weren't just Rockstar Freddy, but blah, uh, gray. But the purpose of Lefty saves them, so I think that they should get an A tier as well, or at least a B. Yeah, A tier works for me. Also, nice save there, Donald. That shit was character development. Yeah, no worries, Obama. Anyways, let's get the useless stage characters out of the way. All right, let's do the whole trash gang. Uh, what are we thinking, gentlemen? Best one is number one crate, easily. Nah, Mr. Hugs is the best one. Kill yourself, Sleepy Joe. Ah! Good God, 11 Labs artifacts aside, I think nice we can all agree break. that the trash gang is equally mid. And I'm just going to put them all in D tier. Fuck it. Next is the mediocre melodies, starting with Happy Frog. Ooh, what an annoying ass voice. Stupid Kermit wannabe, F tier. Yeah, F tier the frog. What about Mr. Hippo, though? Sleepy Joe's got to have some connection with him, considering they're both old geezers. Fuck you, Donnie. I knew you were going to say that shit. But for real, though, Mr. Hippo is actually peak humor. And in my opinion, the best mediocre melodies member. He is kind of hard carried by the UCN voice lines, but it's funny, so it's fine. I'll throw him in B tier. Sleepy Joe takes a W. Shut your orange ass up. Anyways, Pig Patch is the most mid of the mid melodies. Also, he sounds like he's from Texas. Maybe he's George's long lost cousin. Yeah, I'll just throw this fat ass redneck in D tier and we can move on to Ned Bear. Speaking of rednecks, Ned Bear sounds even more like a fucking Texas hillbilly dipshit. Yeah, and he looks coked out of his mind. Why is his eye always so lazy, the fuck? Then this calls for another D tier for the obscure secondary character. All right, D tier for the other redneck. Last of the mids, his Orville elephant. I like him solely because he's besties with Mr. Hippo. For that alone, he deserves B tier. Joe, that is so fucking stupid. You only like him because he's old like your geriatric ass. Oh, my geriatric. This geriatric that shut the fuck up, Donald, you tangerine. <laughs> Holy shit, the artifacts are taking over. I'm just going to throw Orville in C tier and we can move on to Candy Cadet. Dude, dead ass got cut from the UCN roster. Funniest shit ever. Yeah, to be fair, he did get pretty shafted. Although he did reveal some pretty interesting lore in his debut game, so that earns him some points for me. I'd argue C-tier. C-tier is fine with me. We got to show him some sympathy or whatever the fuck. It ain't that deep, Joe. Anyways, next up is the Chad Helpy. He's the bestest guy and deserves at least an A-tier. Helpy is basically a staple in the Freddy's franchise now. Whenever you see him, he's always doing something hilarious, like snapping his back in half. Yeah, put the Chad in A-tier or there will be riots. All right, then. Now we're on to the rock stars, starting with Freddy. Dude's only vocabulary consists of please deposit five and coins. Yeah, and he's one of the more forgettable Freddies, so I'd say C tier. Sounds good. And what about Rockstar Bonnie? Such a shitty mechanic in UCN. Whenever that fucking guitar shows up, it's basically game over. Oh, and I hate his Frank Sinatra sounding ass. 
Yeah, he's forgettable and annoying. For that, he should get D tier. Next is Rockstar Chica. Dumbass hillbilly, why are you so scared of wet floor signs anyways? True, and whenever I hear her voice, I want to rip my extremely short hair out. Well, with that said, gentlemen, I think this bird gets the F. Agreed, F tier, you stupid Texan. Next up is Rockstar Foxy. You gotta appreciate the fact that he actually is kind of a nice guy. That's true. And I like that he looks a lot more like a pirate with his peg leg and parrot. And he's a based as fuck Foxy variant, so that alone should give him B tier. Y'all need to settle down with your boners for Foxy. Shut up, Joe Foxy is lit. You would never understand, you old geezer. Anyhow, we got the posh pizza characters next, starting with Music Man. Okay, I know it, it's been said thousands of times, but that is fucking terrifying. Yeah, I think this dude is one of the reasons why Fazbear Entertainment sucks as a company. What the shit balls? But without him, we wouldn't have gotten the DJ, so I think he should get C or B tier. Let's go with C since he isn't really relevant at all. Yeah, C sounds fair. What about El Chip? Mexican! I knew he was going to say something like that. I muted his bitch ass. Yeah, Donnie isn't building any walls around the beaver. But real though, El Chip is kind of mid uh, and only really serves as a reference to Chipper. Yeah, in normal circumstances, I'd give him a D tier, but I'm going to bump him up to C just to annoy Donald's racist ass. <laughs> Good one, Barry. All right, I'm going to unmute him. I fucking hate you both. Cope harder, you fucking mango. Anyways, the last FFPS character we got is Funtime Chica. Pretty neat design, although I wish we knew why she was there in the first place. Also, damn, I'd hit for real. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I knew your old ass would say something. Fuck it, she goes in C tier. I just know my animatronic bitches when I see them chill. Shut up, Joey. Anyways, are we finally at security breach? We're almost there, Donald. We got a couple more left, starting with the only new UCN character, Fred Bear himself. I do wish that Fred Bear had a more active role in UCN, but I'm still happy we got to see him. It also would have helped if he had a more unique design instead of just being Golden Freddy, but slightly altered. Anyways, I think he deserves at most an A tier. Nah, fuck that. He's a Golden Bear. He deserves F tier. The fuck did you say? Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, A tier sounds good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Drown yourself, Trumpy. Why the fuck didn't he just record lines? Maybe to stick with the theme of the vid. Actually, I don't give a shit. We're moving on to Help Wanted and starting with Glitch Trap. Pretty neat and definitely better than Scrap Trap for an Afton design. He was creepy in Help Wanted too, so I'd say A or maybe even set. Yeah, he was pretty poggy and shit, so I'd argue he should get an S. We haven't given one yet anyways. That's fine with me. S tier for Glitch Trap. Next we got Dread Bear. Dread Bear got some big dick energy, so he's cool in my book, not to mention he's pretty terrifying in the Keep Out mini game. Yeah, his design slaps. Thank God he wasn't named Frank and Freddy. That's shit corny. Then give the man a tier and let's move to Grim Foxy next, I assume. Actually, he isn't on the list for some reason. Like, maybe the guy who made the list forgot him? Shame on you, creator, for forgetting a really cool Foxy variant. Well, let's just pretend he's here and we'll give him a tier. We can just add him in post. Anyways, we're on to Security Breach finally, starting with Glamrock Freddy. Oh my god, finally. Anyways, Glamrock Freddy is awesome and probably the best part about SB as a whole. Not to mention he's literally daddy. Joe, stop talking again. Anyways, yeah, Freddy is probably the best character in SB and deserves S tier, no doubt. Glamrock Chica, on the other hand, is a whiny ass bitch. She repeats the same four voice lines every time. Thank god she's the one that loses her voice. Yeah, her design is okay and all, but she's easily the most mid of the main four Glamrocks. So I'd say only B tier. I go C personally, but B is acceptable. All right, and next is Roxy. Pretty good design and one of the only animatronics with a clear personality. Don't know why she keeps saying I'm the best when I exist, but whatever. She's fine and better than Glamrock Chica, so I'd say maybe low A tier. Yeah, A tier works for me. Oh my fucking God, Joe, just say it. I would absolutely smash goddamn holy fuck farts. Had to get that one out of your system, didn't you, Sleepy Joe? Shut up, Don. You know it'd be true. All right, no more horny for the rest of the video, gentlemen. Next is Monty. Monty had potential and got pretty fucked up at the end of SB. Although I wish we got more scenes with him and more backstory with him and Bonnie. Well, hopefully we get more of that in Ruin. Anyways, Monty is still pretty cool and should probably get B tier. Holy shit, we're so close. Only a couple characters left. Yeah, almost done. Next is Vanny. Talk about wasted potential. Seriously, if they don't do something interesting with Vanny, this character is a lost cause. Yeah, for real. She got five minutes of screen time. Oh, Mo. Yeah, I'll just throw Vanny in C tier for now. Although if Ruin gives her more to do, she definitely could go up. Next is Sun and Moon. They're both voiced by Kellen, so that's an instant plus. They're both based, but we don't see them nearly as much as we should. I still think they both should get A tier, still. 
Yeah, that take works for me, A tier. Next up is DJ Music Man. The DJ Chase is easily one of the highlights of Security Breach. It's so fun. And the Chase theme song. Jesus, that song actually slaps so hard. And he's huge, absolutely huge. Got an S tier, the man. Yeah, the big boy gets S tier easily. All right, and now we're on to the polar opposite with Mini Music Man. Lame F tier, not the DJ. Yeah, Barry F tier, that fucking midget. Well, that was fast. All right, we're almost done, gentlemen. Next is the blob. As confusing as it is, it's also kind of mid. Why the fuck does it just have Funtime Freddy's mask as the head? It's kind of annoying in the Afton fight, too. Genuinely tries to penetrate your bum holy shit. Yeah, just put the bitch in C tier and move on to Burn Trap. All right, opinions on Burn Trap. Personally, I think his design is swag, but he's a little confusing. Let's just not upset any Mimic fans and put him in B tier. Don't question it, Barack. Fine, and last but not least is Mapbot. F tier. F -tier. All right, boys, we're done. Holy shit, we did it. I need a fucking nap so bad. Goddamn furries. Good job, gentlemen. We did every single character. Absolutely none left out whatsoever. Wait, where the fuck was I?